BBC reporter Laura Trevelyan and family are presently on the inside of the Grenada Trade Center Annex where a reparation forum is being held by the Grenada Reparation Commission in collaboration with the University of the West Indies Open Campus. The Trevelyans are here to offer what they say is a public apology for the atrocities caused by their families who owned plantations in Grenada in the 19th century and enslaved more than 1,000 Africans on five sugar estates. They will also make a presentation of 100,000 pounds to establish an education fund to the University of the West Indies Open Campus, Grenada. While this is happening as a positive for some, others oppose the move, saying it should be more than just a 100,000 pound payoff. It's more than money we need. We are worth more than this. The many expressions of dissatisfaction displayed on placards by descendants of African slaves who say the shackles and chains may not be visible, but it's still on the minds of the people. And I hear today, you know, show in solidarity of and I are not horsely, just a, a drop in the bucket. And even though you look in the bucket, you cannot see the drop. You know, it's way more than that. It's way more than money. You know, because uh, six plantation uh, having over a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a, a thousand slaves. You know, of our forefathers, and then you still get re reparation. So the amount of money that you are worth then, the equivalent to now. You're talking about trillions of dollars. If you wanted to set something sustainable uh, for INI people, let, let's talk with institution. Let's start with institution where we can change that, that mindset uh, of what they had imposed upon INI people. You know, so we are talking more than just that physical money. You retard an entire nation of people. Ras Ruan from the house of the Nyabingi Lamode St. Patrick says there needs to be a shift in the mindset of the people and the education of the young people on their true history. Basically, as the education system, it just benefits the slave master and it benefits uh, benefit the British Empire. Because when you look into the, the education system here in Grenada, it don't allow, allow and I to, to reach this, the truth or choose potential. They have and I thinking on our left side of our brain where we are not creators. We are not creating in this, this education system. So therefore we have to change that. And I have to change that where and I people can bring out their true creativity through the true the true identity of African and knowing who they are will be able to have them you know rise to that true potential. Rasta Kari is advocating for the return of resources taken away from black people. We want to be able to get our media folks to do more programming in terms of African history, in terms of uh, bringing it to the youths because the struggle the youths have to take it. We are elders here, yeah? most of us here are elders and it's the young warriors because believe me, it's about warfare. You know, we came here in this predicament because of the warfare on our ancestors. And it seems as though it's going to be warfare to get our reparation, which is a dead old. Same way, the establishment got all what they have by illegal means and it's supposed to be confiscated. Simple. So that Christina John, GBN News.